Hey guys, it's Makeup by Harrison, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing this red glossy lip and this winged liner look. I'm also going to be using a bunch of new products. If you want to see how to do this look, just keep on watching. So first off, I'm going to go in with this new Wet n Wild Dewy Face Primer that I bought yesterday. I picked this up at 5 Below. Um, this is my first time using it on my face, so... This whole video is going to be sort of a first impression because I'm using a lot of new things. But the first looks of this primer, it's kind of dewy. And it's kind of tinted. I'm just going to put this all over my face. It, it kind of looks luminous. And I think there might be a slight shimmer in it. Yeah, there's definitely a shimmer in it. And it's definitely making my skin look dewy, which is what I'm going for. So I finished putting on the primer, and I'm not sure how I like it yet. I'm gonna see how I like it after I put on foundation, but by the looks of it so far, it kind of just left like a shimmer on my skin and made my skin look dewy, which is what it's supposed to do. And my skin kind of looks greasy a little, but I'm gonna put on foundation and then I'm gonna get back to you. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I don't have a new foundation I'm trying out today, so this is the one I'm going to be doing because I want to give everything else in the video a fair chance. So, yeah, um, you've seen me put you've seen me put this on a bunch of times, so I'm just going to put this on and I'll be right back. So I finished putting on my foundation, and I'm really liking how it looks. Um, it definitely looks luminous from the dewy primer that I put on before by Wet n Wild. So I'm just going to set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Not every product I use in this video is going to be a brand new one, but a couple of them are. So I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild powder brush and put this on my face. So for concealer today, I'm going to be trying out a new one. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and I heard this was a dupe for the Tarte Shaped, the Tarte Shape Tape. So, I'm going to put this in all the places you usually put concealer, and I'm going to let you know how I like this. Um, it's a very thick and creamy concealer, and I like my concealers thick. My favorite concealer by far is the definitely the wet, the LA Girl. Um, I have it right here. This is my favorite concealer by far, it's the wet in the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm going to see if I like this better. Um, but I'm just going to put that in all the places that I put, usually put concealer. And I purchased this in the shade C4 at Ulta. Um, I'm going to blend this out. I definitely bought a lighter shade because with concealer I usually like to highlight. So I'm going to finish blending this in and tell you how I like it. Okay, so this is definitely a more full coverage concealer than the LA Girl... Pro Conceal. I'm not sure how I like that. I'm gonna set this with the Cody Airspun Powder. I don't have a new powder to try, but I'm just gonna set this and bake a little with the Cody Airspun Powder, and I'll get it right back to you. So I set my face with the Cody Airspun Powder, and I definitely don't love it more than my LA Girl Pro Conceal, but it's definitely a good concealer. Um, it's a drug... An, it's a nice drugstore concealer, and but I just don't love... I mean, it's a very full coverage concealer, but I feel like it kind of looks a little cakey under the eyes. And yeah, I just... I don't love how it looks, but it's alright. Um, I'll definitely continue using it over time and see how I like it, but this is definitely still a winner for me. But I'm gonna... So I set my face with the Cody Airspin Powder, and I definitely don't love the Makeup Revolution Concealer more than my LA Girl Pro Conceal, but it definitely is a really good concealer. Um, I just prefer the LA Girl Concealer a little more because of the coverage, and I don't know, this kind of looks a little cakey under my eye, but I'm going to see how I like it throughout the video, see if it creases and does all the things that a good concealer or a bad concealer would do. So for bronzing today, I'm going to be using my Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. 
I know they have four of these now, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just using the shade bronzer. And I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I just picked this up. It's in the shade Dulce de Leche. I'm going to be contouring with this, and I'm just going to be bronzing up my face a little with this. So, to bronze, I'm just going to take a Wet n Wild bronzing brush. And, well, it's a powder brush, but, yeah. And just bronze up my face a little. So I think I want to use both sides of this, so I'm just going to take the banana shade in this and take my Real Techniques powder brush and just put it under my eye just to see if it like brightens it just a little, just to see. I don't know, I just wanted to test it out. Um, I didn't plan on testing it out, but I'm just going to put it there. Put it in like all the places I put concealer. Um, yeah, it just sort of brightened it a little. I'm going to test it out in another video to see if like... I'm going to actually set my under eyes with it, but I just wanted to try it out. But I'm going to take the contouring shot side and I'm going to take my powder brush and just contour a little with it and I will be right back. Okay, so I definitely don't love um, this more than my Kat Von D shade and light. But it definitely still is a really good contouring palette. Um, not palette, but like contouring thing. Um, but my shade and light is, I like, I prefer it a lot better. Um, but it's, this is still very good contouring. It's not a palette, but a contouring. So I finished contouring with this, and I definitely prefer my Kat Von D shade and light palette more than this. But... I'm still going to use it because it's a really good contouring shade. It's a very warm tone contour though, and I usually like to contour with a cool tone color, but this, this did the job and I like it. Um, so I'm going to continue to use this and see how I like it. So before I put my highlight on today, I'm definitely noticing that the concealer is starting to crease just a little, but Every concealer is going to crease just a little, so that's not really a big thing. But for highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Ice Cold. I'm going to apply it with a Wet n Wild fan brush, and I will be right back. I'm going to spritz my fan brush with a little MAC Fix Plus, and I'm just going to spritz my face a little with that too. I can't find my Mario Badescu purple spray right now, but if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I really love that stuff. But I'm just gonna apply highlight like you would always do. The look I'm going for today, I wanted like a light highlight, so yeah. So I think I'm done for most of my face makeup, but I'm gonna go do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So I finished my brows. I did do something new in my brows. I used this eyebrow and eyelash gel. Um, I kind of like it. It kind of held down my brows. It definitely may makes them like stay like they are. Um, so I'm definitely going to be continue using this. Um, I'm going to do my liner off camera because I'm really bad at doing it on camera. But I'll try and do another video on how I do my liner. But I'll be right back when I finish doing that. So I finished putting on lashes. For lashes, I used my House of Lashes Iconics. And for liner, I used my Kat Von D Ink Liner and Trooper. And for mascara, I used the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. Um, I didn't change up any of those products because those are the only things I use. And I didn't really find anything else I wanted to use. But for lips, I am using something new. I usually use the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks, but today I'm using the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. I'm going to go put this on off camera, and I'll be right back, and I'll tell you how I like it. So I'm really liking this liquid lipstick. I really want to try other shades of this um, type. I have one other shade, but I felt like the red went with this look better. I have the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in Nudist Peach. This is in M Missy and Fierce. 
Um, I think I want to add a gloss. I did get a new gloss. This is the NYX Lingerie Gloss. It's, I know these are like brand, brand new. So I'm going to put this on over the red lip. I'll be right back when I finish doing that. I'll tell you how I like this. So I finished putting on this gloss and I really like it. Um, I had, I bought a couple other shades in this gloss. Or I bought one other, yeah. Um, it was just a nude. I can't find it right now. Um, actually it's right here. It is in the shade Shy. Um, so I have both of these. They're, I think they're each $7. I'll link everything I use in the description below. But I really like the clear gloss over the red matte lip. But yeah, that's it. So, to finish off this look, I'm gonna finish my face with the Glam Glow Glow Setter. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see out of this channel.